Well, what we've got here is your longbow. It's a very simple weapon, made famous during the Hundred Years' War, the 14th and the 15th century. It's a very simple thing. It's the heart and the sapwood, the inside and the outside of the yew tree from the tree trunk. The string, it's just linen string, a piece of cow horn on each end, and yet you have a weapon that can shoot one of these well over 300 paces. But look at the arrow. It has a barbed point, it's called a broadhead. Once it's inside your body, you can't pull it out. The arrow shaft, wooden, it's from the ash. Goose feathers, these are called the fletchings. In fact, the man who makes the bow is called the bowyer. The man who makes the arrow, the fletcher. The man who makes the arrow point, the arrow smith. The man who makes the string, the string fellow. It's all a family business. But once you put the whole thing together, you've got a murder weapon. See what makes it so deadly? You can shoot fast, the wounds at the other end, incredibly painful. Let me show you how simple it is. You put the arrow on, you look at the target, you bring him back and simply let him go. You had to train by law, at least from the age of seven. You'd shoot for two hours after church every Sunday. It changes your muscle shape. Your one shoulder on the right thickens. Your right forearm becomes stronger. He would stand there, pouring the arrows down, until he felt as if his arms were breaking. The thing about it is, because you train so much, you don't actually look down the arrow. You're looking at the target all of the time. You fix yourself on to that man. Fast, accurate, and under power. But it was all down to simply this, being able to look at your enemy and put him down.